for today. And uh, she called me to tell me about Lou Duncan. And uh, she sounded pretty good. Her health's not too good. And so I told her that uh, I'd do this song for her tonight. And she said, well, make sure you tell her the sequel. <laughs> My mom's a storyteller too. <laughs> My mom is uh, engaged to a really nice guy named Jim, who she met on Match.com. Living proof that if you get lonely enough, even older people can learn how to master the internet. It's <laughs> true. And they're, they're living in Arab, Alabama. I didn't mispronounce it. It's Arab, Alabama. And uh, I still haven't been there. So I'm going to do this song for my mama. This song set about 22 years ago this summer back when I first moved to Athens, Georgia. So my mom and dad got divorced, my mom was so miserable and unhappy that she locked herself in her bedroom and she didn't come out for six years. In my mom's bedroom, my mama, she did have three TV sets like Elvis. And on top of each one of those TVs, she had a VCR for recording all them shows she wasn't watching. And for six long years, she stayed locked in her room, drinking vodka and milk. Read the National Enquirer and the Sun and the Star. Flipping them chains. And then my sister graduated from school and the child support ran out. And my mom was forced to go out and get a job. And I know I don't have to tell you, it's a mean goddamn world out there. For a 50 year old woman without no college education, and my mom, she had to work one shit job after another was to pay the rent. So finally, fate or something led her to a place called R&D Trucking in Florence, Alabama. And they hired my mom as what they call a truck dog on And every Monday morning, she'd come in and haul it on them truck drivers' lawns. And then they'd drive 50 miles without sleep or something. Her job was to catch it for the DOT find them. And there was this one truck driver. His name was Chester. And Chester was the biggest, meanest motherfucker in R&D Trucking. Chester's about 350 pounds of pure muscle and gut. Chester had a woman Kim tattooed right there on his forearm and legend has that one night in Vietnam, Chester killed eight men in his sleep in order to escape from a POW camp. And now every Monday morning, my mom was calling that big son bitch in her office and bitching him out. So finally one day she just snaps and she goes off the deep end and starts yelling at the top of her lungs and she says, she says, I'm going to call you here and bitch at you one year. But Chester just looked my mama right square in the eye. And he said, Chan, it's because I'm in love with you. And the only way I don't even talk to you is to fuck up my mom so you can call me in here and bitch at me so she can. Six months later of the day, my mom and Chester, they ran off to a tattoo studio and he had Kim changed to jam. And then they had one from West Coast, Pigeon Forest, Tennessee, and they got married. And sometimes people think I make this shit up. I don't make this shit up. I just moved to Athens, Georgia that summer and I didn't have no money to buy my present, so I wrote my mama this song as a wedding present. It's called 18 Wheels Up! Who wants to send this out to her? I'm on the match.com.
Mother, 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 Mother,